So today I'm here to teach you how to convert a simple PNG file into a 3D object inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. In my opinion, it's a very helpful tool to know how to do this because you can grab any PNG and convert it into a logo, a 3D logo or anything in DaVinci Resolve. And if you stick to the end, I will tell you how you can download my free graphic pack. Now let's jump in the computer and let me teach you how to convert the PNG into a 3D object. So let's go. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve in the edit page. And as you can see here in the viewer, we have a 3D arrow. And this 3D arrow was made with this PNG file. So let me teach you how you can create this also. So let's come here to the media pool, right click, come here, new fusion composition. Let's give it a name, so 3D PNG. I'm going to resize it. I'm going to give it only three seconds flank and create it. So let's come here to the 3D PNG, double click it. And now we are inside of the fusion page. If you don't know how to work in the Fusion page, you can watch other videos that I have here in my YouTube channel. And I have some of them explaining how the Fusion page works. So go there and check it out. So since we are going to work in 3D space, we have to convert the 3D space to the media out to the video that you want to see in your timeline. So to do that, we have to use this a node here called render 3D that will convert anything that is in 3D space to a final video. So let's put it in here and let's connect it to our media out and select the render. Come here to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, just click here where it says inspector and you will see this. The first thing I'm going to do is come here to the render type and we're going to select hardware render and come here to the lighting and enable lighting and shadows. So you have a realistic uh, 3D world. Now let's come here. Let's add a merge 3D to merge everything that we need. I'm going to put it over here and I'm going to connect it to the our render 3D. And I'm going to add a camera. So let me connect the camera to the merge and I want to add a spotlight. And I'm going to connected also to here. So now let's convert our PNG into a 3D object. So to do that, it's very easy. Just add here uh, image plane 3D over here. Let me put it over here and let me connect it to the merge. Now let me, as you can see, I'm only seeing one viewer. So I'll come here to this uh, two rectangles viewer and select it. Now we have uh, two. Let me put this in the middle. I'm going to Come here, select the Merge 3D, and we're going to press 1 to see this in the Viewer 1. I'm going to press it here, and as you can see, we are we have now the Viewer 1 with the Merge 3D and the Viewer 2 with the Media Out. As you can see, the Media Out has this white here dot in the second one. We have two dots, but the second one is white because it's the view selected to the Viewer 2. And here in the, in the Merge 3D, we have also those two dots and the first one is selected because it's going to the viewer one. I hope you are understanding this. Now let's come here to the camera. And as you can see, the camera, the spotlight, they are exactly in the 0, 0.0 space. And that space is the center of the image plane. That's why everything is here. So let's come and put our camera back. Let me rotate this a little bit and adjust and zoom in and zoom out. To zoom in, it's very easy. Just con press Control or um, Command in Mac and use your mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out. Look, so zoom in and zoom out. And to rotate in 3D space, Alt or Option and use the center mouse button. In my case, it's the center wheel as and click it and you can rotate it. So. Look, so now let's adjust the camera. As you can see, we have the camera in, in here and we have all these three arrows, a red, a green and blue. So it's X, Y and Z. So let's press the blue one and move it back. Or you can come here to the transform, as you can see, and move it like this. 
So as you can see, it's very easy. Now let's select the spotlight and do the same. Come here to the transform and move it back. Look, and you see the spotlight appearing or you can come here to the arrows and do the same. I'm going to put it right here. And now I'm going to come here to the rotation. I'm going to rotate it to the in the um, Y axis. So I'm going to come here and you can look rotated like this. And you can come here to the controls and adjust the spotlight so you can in increase or decrease the cone, the aperture of the cone in here in the cone angle. So you can open it or reduce it like this. So you can have a little spotlight or a big one and you can use the penumbra and the drop off. I don't want to mess with this now. And also you can have come here to the shadows and change the color and everything, but I'm going to leave it as it is for now. And you have here the intensity. As you can see, it's at max, but it's not. You can come here and type two, for example, and now it's the double. And now you can adjust between zero and two. So let's put it something like this. Now let's put our PNG and convert it into a 3D object. So as you can see here in the media pool, I have several PNG files. I'm going to start with the arrow. I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to connect the arrow to our image plane 3D. And immediately you see that the image plane 3D is converted into the arrow. But if I zoom in here, you can notice that you don't have uh, any 3D. It's just uh, an image in space. Now let's extrude this. And to do that, it's very easy. Just come here, select the image plane 3D, press shift and space. And let's look for 3D duplicate. So you have it in here and add it over here. Now. Let's come here to the inspector and in here in the copies, you see from zero, the first one is zero and the last one is two. I'm going to change this to 100. And now you don't see anything because you have to give it a displacement in the Z axis and come here to the translation Z offset and here type 0 0.01. So it will offset each copy in 0 0.01. Uh, units and type enter and immediately you saw that now you have a depth in the image. So now you have it in 3D, but you can adjust now this to look like because in here, as you can see, it's facing. So the camera is the camera is facing the image. You don't see the 3D. And now let me add a transform because every time I want to move something I like to use a transform and let's look for the transform 3D in this case let's type let's press again shift and space and look for transform and here we have the transform 3D selected and add now we have the transform over here let's put this closer to here and now you can come here to the transform and you can for example rotation in Y look and you can rotate it but as you can see, sometimes it's dark because in the other side, so it's rotated like 190 degrees. So let's rotate it minus 180. So now it's facing the camera, but it's the back and you don't see anything. Let me show you how to correct this. Come here to the image plane 3D. Come here to the material and come here to the transmittance. And as you can see, we have an option for two sided. If you press it, immediately you, it appears. Now let's go to the transform and go to the rotation. Now, if you rotate it, look, here is black because the spotlight is from one side and the camera is from the other. And sometimes there is this position that the light is not hitting the right place for you to see it. To correct that, it's very easy. Just come here, select somewhere in here and shift space and type ambient and you have here ambient light and add it and now let's connect it to our merge 3d and immediately you see that 
now the image is brighter and now you can come here to the intensity and increase it like this and now if you go to the transform 3d and if you rotate it you can notice that it's brighter but now you can come to the spotlight and decrease it a lot now let's try to rotate it again you see the shine like here from the spotlight but it's not that bright so if you want to animate this go to let me reset this to the zero let's come to the first frame add a keyframe for example in the y and let me type minus 360 let's go to the last one and remove the minus 360 and now if we play it let's go to the first frame play it and of course this is the first time that it's rendering so it's harder for the computer as soon as it finish you will see it rotating in a regular speed so let's wait a little bit and now it's rotating of course if you want you can use any png that you want let me show you for example i have this podcast symbol over here let me put it over here let me come here let me unlink this and link this one over here and now immediately you see that if we play it you have the podcast symbol rotating and now you can add your own png and create your uh, 3D objects inside of Fusion that you can use on your videos. So as you could see, it's very easy and in my opinion, it's very helpful because now you can convert any PNG into a 3D object in DaVinci Resolve. So as I said in the beginning, here in the description, you have a link that you can download it and install it in your computer and it will give you a free graphic element pack in DaVinci Resolve that you can use for free on your videos. And I hope that also will help you in your creation. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button. That helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Until there, bye.